that's a good question. I think I would interpret it as um, opening up and, and sharing of knowledge and information so that we can create a better world. Right, so I mean the idea is absolutely fundamental to everything we do. We're, Everything that we do is based on the learnings and observations of thousands of people around the world. And by bringing those observations together, we can get insights into how our planet functions. So that ability to, to share and communicate is central to everything we do. Obviously, we recognize that it comes with, with, with threats and dangers. You know, the, the sharing of people's data is a very risky thing, which is we, we play it safe by staying only on the, on the, the data only reflect, reflects ecosystems. But still, I, I, we, we've got to recognize the, you know, the, the challenges that come with sharing data as we build all this global understanding. Yeah, I think it's it's very difficult to ask people to share their hard their hard life's work. You know, they've been working on this for 30, 50 years. It's very difficult to, to get people to just give that all away for free. But I think when people get inspired by the idea of this sort of collective action, collective movement, they often they usually want to engage. That's why we're doing. That's why ecologists are studying these ecosystems is because we want to understand what piece we can all play in the big puzzle and I think um, yeah once the sort of fl flow of information started flowing I think that you know it really it was a bit of a, a, a snowball and, and gathered momentum and gained momentum and yes and, and all of a sudden we started to, the more data that rolled in the more clearly we could see patterns and the more validating it was for the people sharing the information. This is a very good point. At a global scale, every model is wrong. There's no model that is exactly right in every single location around the world. So we recognize the, the, the necessary existence of those mistakes. But as I'm going through the process, I'm realizing that the mistakes are actually often more valuable than the times we get it right. Every single mistake, every failed restoration project, for example, gives us data that can inform and improve 10 next projects and if that can happen those learnings can be the foundation on which the whole movement grows honestly i think the sessions the the uh, the, the i want to get my hands dirty i want to go and, and chat to people and see what's going on i want to i want to see some robots i want to see some cool stuff